Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this easy and delicious chicken pot pie, so let's get started with the video. Begin by dicing one onion, two carrots, and two celery stalks. When you're finished, set your chicken to the side. Next, in a pot over medium heat, add 4 tablespoons of butter. Once the butter is melted, add 1 cup of diced onions, 1 cup of diced carrots, a half a cup of diced celery, and 1 tablespoon of minced garlic. Saute your veggies for 5 minutes. Then add 1 teaspoon of fresh thyme and 1 teaspoon of fresh rosemary. Next, gradually stir in 1 third cup of all-purpose flour. Once you've added the flour, continue to cook for 2 minutes while constantly stirring. Next, slowly pour in 1 and 3 fourths cup of warm chicken broth. After you've added your chicken broth, add a half a cup of warm, heavy cream. Next, mix in 1 teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of pepper, 1 fourth teaspoon of garlic powder, and 1 fourth teaspoon of onion powder. Then mix everything together until well combined. Reduce the heat to low and bring your mixture to a simmer until it becomes thick. Once your mixture is thick, add 1 cup of frozen peas and 2 cups of your shredded rotisserie chicken. Mix everything together until well combined and then set your chicken pot pie filling to the side. Sprinkle flour on a clean surface and roll out two sheets of pastry puff. Roll out the pastry puff to around 11 to 12 inches. This should be big enough for one to fit inside the pan and one to cover the pan. When you're finished, set your pastry puff to the side. 
Next, grease the inside of a 9 inch iron skillet or pan with butter. When you're finished, line the pan with one sheet of pastry puff. Next, cut off any excess dough. Now add your chicken pot pie filling. Next, place another sheet of pastry puff on top. Then cut off the excess dough. Next, tuck and press the two pieces of dough together. When you're finished, crimp the edges either using your fingers or a fork. Next, make an egg wash by whisking together one egg and one tablespoon of water. When you're done, brush the pastry puff with the egg wash. Then cut a few slits at the top to vent the steam. Next, bake your chicken pot pie at 400 degrees for 35 to 40 minutes. Then cover it with tinfoil and continue baking it for another 15 minutes. The reason we're covering the pot pie with tinfoil is to prevent over browning. When your pot pie has finished baking in the oven, let it rest for about 10 to 15 minutes, then sprinkle some fresh thyme on top and you are all finished. And this is the finished result! This chicken pot pie was absolutely delicious. The crust was crispy and flaky and the inside was flavorful and tasty. It's finally starting to get chilly outside and this is the perfect comfort food. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!